This video will explain the latency setting that you will find on the main menu. The latency feature is used to alter the default communication delay in the FTDI drivers of the cable that connects the advanced power base to the computer. The FTDI drivers for the cable have a built-in communication delay, both sending and receiving, between the advanced power base and PC of 17 milliseconds. So in theory, the driver update rate cannot be below 17 milliseconds. In practice, with the delay on, update rate is normally higher than 30 milliseconds. With the latency set to 1 rather than 17, you will have a much better update rate, perhaps below 20 milliseconds. This means that your cars will be more responsive to your throttle input. Also, recording and playback of pace cars will be more accurate. There are two ways to change the latency setting. One is through RCS64 and the other is through Device Manager on your PC. To change via RCS, you will need to first close RCS64. Then, right click on the RCS64 shortcut and choose Run as Administrator. RCS64 will open and you will be able to change the latency value. Race Control System 64 You only need to do this once. The next time you use RCS, you do not have to run as an administrator. To change latency through your PC, go to Device Manager, then Ports, and right click on USB Serial Port. Click on the Properties. then Port Settings, then Advanced. There you will be able to change the latency settings. Please note, when you change latency you are changing the FTDI driver settings, not any settings in RCS64. If you use other race management systems, it would probably be a good idea to reset this value to 17 as we are not sure how other RMS will cope with this change. If you change the USB port that the cable is attached to, the latency value may be automatically reset to 17. If you are thinking of updating the C7042 Advanced Power Base firmware, it is probably a good idea to reset the value to 17 prior to updating. There are a few cables around that do not have FTDI drivers. These are not affected by the delay and therefore do not need the latency setting adjustment. The latency setting has been tried and tested in RCS64 and has been found to work well. 